Hi everybody! Hey. I'm Tamlin. I'm Josh. And we are here to talk to you about lesson four of the Good and the Beautiful's Mammal Science Unit, which is called Even Toed Ungulates. Even Toed Ungulates. Vocabulary words. Look for vocabulary. Listen for vocabulary words in this video as we talk about some of our favorite even toed ungulates. Fred. There's one of them. Fred and ah! Captain. The goat. And the roosters have decided to be very close to us, so we're going to hear them too today. Yes. Yes. Yes, we are. All right. What do you know about even toed ungulates, Josh? Uh, they have two toes on their back feet. Two toes on their back feet. That's right. What else? And they have horns or horns or antlers. Horns. Horns or antlers. That's right. What do you think goats have? Horns or antlers? Horns. Horns. That's right. Where are Fred's horns? There's actually a little stub of a horn right there. <laughs> he doesn't like me to touch it. How come Fred doesn't have horns? Uh, we don't know. I don't know. What about Captain? Where's his horn? I don't know to see what he's like. Where are they? There. There's a little one right there. He doesn't where like me to touch it. Where are Fred's ears? Where are Fred's ears? Fred, where are your ears? <laughs> Oh no, where are your ears? <laughs> Fred has little tiny tiny ears. So Fred is a breed that's a cross between two breeds, La Mancha and Nigerian Dwarf. I have a question, how does he get the short ears? His short ears come because of his Nigerian Dwarf parent who actually has longer ears. These are longer ears. Than a, than a La Mancha goat has. <laughs> you yeah. nibble on your shirt. Are you eating me? <laughs> Are you eating me? Really? Seriously. <laughs> You're eating me. No. <laughs> Don't do that, Fred. <laughs> so when Fred and Captain were babies, they had a uh, tool called a disc budding iron put on their little heads where their horns would grow so their horns won't grow. So that's why they don't have horns. So they don't get caught in fences or they can't injure any other animals or people. Yeah. Okay, what else do you know about these types of mammals? Are they herbivores or carnivores? Herbivores, and I think you're getting hair on I know. Look, he's, he's having a good time. He likes to be petted. Did you hear that noise? Can you see him chewing? He didn't put any food in his mouth. What's he chewing? Cud. Cud. If you hear Fred go <gasps> like that, that's the cud coming up into his mouth. I have a question. Mm -hmm. What's your question? How many times does the cud come back into his mouth? I don't know exactly. Like the same cud? Yeah. Probably a couple times. Okay, so let's show the yep. type of teeth that these guys have. So a couple of years ago, Josh and I were walking in the mountains and we found this. It's the jawbone of a deer. Slash fawn. Or a fawn, but it's very similar to what a goat's teeth look like. So they have these back teeth. This is a lower jawbone. Where he's chewing his cud right now is on these lower back teeth. And then there's a space with no teeth. And then at the front, it's broken off here, but would be some little bottom teeth. Can you show your bottom front teeth on the bottom? Yeah, goat don't have top teeth. And deer, they don't have top front teeth. They only have bottom front teeth. Then, so they chew their so cud with their back teeth and they pull their grass and their leaves and things off with their bottom oh, front teeth. Oh, so since that's broken, there would have been like it would have gone up and then kind of more teeth would come? Yeah, it would have got up and there would be a few teeth at the tip there. Oh, is, is that what they used to like tear the grass up or something? Mm -hmm. or tear it off? Yeah. So if you can picture on Fred... Can you hold the camera for a minute, Josh? Can you show Fred's jaw? In the screen? This kind of would go right there. 
One bone and you see that? One bone jaw. Yep, a single bone jaw. And he's got his back teeth where he's chewing Ew. his cud right now. And there's a space. So the cud is actually coming out. Is he? He's slobbering on me. Ew. <laughs> Okay, so the other thing about the ruminants is their digestive system is really cool. So when Fred yes. eats something, like some grass, he chews it. He's like, eh, I don't want that, I want a cookie. Can you give him a cookie? He chews it and swallows it. It goes down his esophagus into his rumen. Cookie! Can you give him a cookie? And see how he chews it. You, you give it to him. Me? Okay. Here you go. <laughs> oh. So he chews his food the first time, swallows it, goes down into his rumen. I'm gonna flip the camera around. I, I heard it. I heard it. Did you hear I him swallow? It. No, I heard the. I thought I heard the cud coming back. Okay. That was him swallowing. If you hear a sound like that's the cud coming back up. Can you hold the camera? I'm going to show his whole body. Can you back up so you can see his whole body? Okay, so he swallows it, goes down his esophagus into his rumen, which is actually on the left side mostly. It's a big area. And after it's in the bit in the rumen for a while, he kind of comes back up his esophagus, goes back into his mouth, and he starts chewing it again. Ew! It sounds weird to us, but it's normal for them. Then he swallows the cud. It goes back down into the room, into the reticulum. Did you hear that? Yeah. And then into the omasum, and then the abomasum, and then to the intestines, and then at the end. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we've talked about the artiodactyla. We've talked about their teeth and their horns, the digestive system, and the cud. What's the next last thing? The hooves. The hooves. The even-toed ungulates. We need to see their even toes. <laughs> so Josh, can you come over here? Can you see his back feet? Can you see that? You see he has two toes right there. Nice. And they're on like a horse's hoof. They're not like a horse hoof, are they? It's Wait, a, that's it's cool. He has two sides of his ankle. Yeah. So, I don't need a professional farrier to come and take care of Fred's Red. hooves. I can do it myself. Yep. So can you show the front hoof over here? These are my hoof trimmers. Can you see that? Can you see his foot? So every month, I trim the goat's hooves. Can you see the bottom there? Looks just like a hoof to me. Yep, you see how it's kind of overgrown? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to trim it up so it's nice and clean and neat and it doesn't get anything caught in there. Can you see it okay? Mm hmm. I want to get a little closer. And it's just like cutting your fingernails. Do you see how it's white and clean right there? Wow, is that. What is that? That's just the hoof it looks like when it's not all dirty. And in the their native habitat, the, the wild goats, they don't have anybody to trim their feet, do they? No, I think I think it gets trimmed on rocks or something. That's right. They have to wear down their feet naturally on rocks and hard surfaces. But these goats live most of the time on grass soft dirt so they need us to help them trim their hooves to keep them healthy and straight except for an, but with an occasional rock yeah see that's it and then i do all four feet all eight toes and then i go on to the next goat are you really gonna do all of that or? right now <laughs> so do you have any questions mm. yes do different goat tails look different? Yes. So, do you see his tail? I saw it earlier. What does Captain's tail look like? Curly. Look in the camera. Come and show it. Can you stand up and come over here? I mean, like, 
What makes that happen? Just the type of breed that they are. So do you see... <laughs> see his tail? He doesn't like me to touch it either. Okay. It's not really thick and curly like the rest of his hair, is it? No, but it's kind of curly. Yeah. Okay, friends, that's what we've got about our even-toed ungulates. What's the next chapter? Fred and Captain. <laughs> and take care. Josh, can you go over and wave? And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.